everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited today. I am back in beautiful Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, which is to the east of Jacksonville. I am back actually during the daytime this time, but we've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> We are here at Trasca and Company Eatery. We're taking on their brand new Trasca Six Pound Panino Challenge. Now, these things right in front of me are called Paninos. I've never heard of them before. We're going to explain the six that I have to finish all within a one hour time limit, plus this big old slice of their mud pie, which is like an ice cream cake. But we've got a turkey avocado, which has turkey, Swiss, bacon, avocado, fresh tomato, and then ranch dressing. Then we've got their spaghetti pie. It's got house-made meatballs, mozzarella cheese, spaghetti, and it's all topped with marinara sauce, which is right here. We've also got their buffalo blue. It's got their chicken, Swiss cheese, buffalo sauce, some blue cheese crumbles, and then ranch. That sounds delicious, minus the blue cheese, but I'm sure I'll still enjoy it. Then we've got their chicken bacon ranch. That's got their chicken, bacon, mozzarella cheese, and then ranch dressing. For number five, we have their spicy sawgrass shrimp. That's got Italian sausage, blackened shrimp, Swiss, tomato, romaine lettuce, and then spicy ranch. And then I'm excited for this one. Number six is we've got their guac. It's got seasoned black beans, cheddar cheese, pico de gallo, a big old scoop of avocado and guacamole, and then it's got lettuce and then their house-made spicy ranch. I've got one hour to finish. If I fail, it's gonna be $70, but if I win, I'll get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt and I'll be the very first person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. <laughs> All right, so many people here and I've never had paninos before and I am so excited, they look delicious. Big thank you to Sarah, the owner, her family, everybody here with Trasca and Company Eatery for having me in to help take this challenge. Big thank you to Gordon Food Service, their supplier for all this deliciousness. And then big thank you to Stubborn, which is a all natural soda brand. These are not part of the challenge, but I will be sipping them along the way. I got to choose these from a bunch of options, but we've got their lemon acai berry, we did go with a root beer, and then I'm most excited for, didn't even know this is a thing, but it is a pineapple cream soda. All of this has agave uh, natural sugar rather than fructose corn syrup. But let's shut up and eat and just try to set a time that Katina can try to beat tomorrow when she does the challenge. But let's do it. One, two, three, boom. All righty. And I'm gonna start over here with chicken bacon ranch. delicious and that was just a half remember but all of these are rolled up in about three to four ounces of dough so all of that along with the toppings six pounds plus the cake this is the one with blue cheese the buffalo chicken let's move over to what is this Spicy sawgrass shrimp. That almost sounds like I need my pinky up while I'm eating it, so let's do that. <laughs> Favorite so far, for sure. The flavor from the Italian sausage is what hits you first, and then the shrimp keeps you wanting more. This is amazing. This is the guac. I was watching her put all the guacamole in this and there's like a whole avocado in here. I think this has the most sauces in it, so it's gonna go down the easiest. The stubborn root beer flavor is delicious too, but I've already had a full one of these before we started. This is the spaghetti pie, which goes with the sauce, so let's do that. That looks amazing. Definitely spaghetti in there. Meatball's nice too. Turkey avocado. This has guacamole too.
This will not be my last time having a panino. This is amazing. I don't know where else to get it other than Trasco, but amazing. I do have a girlfriend that got a panini maker from her grandma, so maybe I can uh, get the secret recipes from Sarah for Katina. For this one, I'm gonna start again, now that we're halfway through, with the Buffalo Blue Panino. We're nine minutes, 45 seconds in. I went to all the kitchen staff. I said, hey, I'm gonna lay down a thousand bucks. You have one hour to finish six. Can you do it? None of them said yes. So that was disappointing, but I think I'm gonna do it. Minus the thousand bucks. If you think you could, let me know down in the comments. I think this is the walk here, yeah. They've got some good sides here too I was eyeing, but thankfully I don't have to finish any as part of this challenge. I think the potato salad is what I thought looked the best. Alright, let's do turkey avocado. There was like a citrus hibiscus that looked pretty good and tasted good, but I decided to go with the lemon acai berry. But let's finish this avocado one in turkey. Oh, this is the pizza one. That's good. The lettuce was not required, but I'm trying to get my healthy vegetables while I'm on a diet. <sighs> Normally, I don't think that soda is worth all the sugar calories, but Mountain Dew and stubborn pineapple cream soda is amazing. This is chicken bacon ranch. We're 20 minutes, 30 seconds in, so we're getting it. Got plenty of time. We're doing this early because there's some Masters golf tournament uh, nearby in Ponte Vedra. I don't follow golf. So let's finish off this one and then we'll do my favorite. People ask me why anybody would want to watch somebody eat. I always just tell them, hey, if somebody can watch 18 holes of golf, people can watch others eat. So finish this, boom. All right, now we're on the spicy sawgrass shrimp. All right. This is their mud pie ice cream cake, which I know there's Oreos on top. We've got drizzled chocolate sauce. We've got whipped cream, which I'm sure is fat free. And then what do we have, just ice cream? So it is a locally made ice cream. I tried slicing through and you can feel it was a very tough bottom, but yeah, it's an Oreo crust. This is delicious. This cake is only 150 calories, it's crazy. We're almost there, 27 minutes in. The crust is what's taking a little bit. Tomorrow in St. Augustine, I have to eat really fast, so I took more time to enjoy this one today. The bottom crust really adds to the cake. This is good. The young Beard Meets Food would call this a win already, but now that he's matured and other things, he'd finish this up just like I am. All right. I had to lick clean yesterday. Let's do a little today. I'm not doing all these, but I will finish by stubborn the pineapple cream soda for the victory. Ah. If you want to try this challenge, you can pick whichever six you want from their menu. The time to beat, but you've got one hour. 29 minutes and 13 seconds, yes. The six paninos that I tried, delicious. 
I told Sarah I didn't really know what to look for, so just pick out six good ones to show off in the video, and I was really happy with all six of those. You guys already know my favorite, which was what? The spicy sawgrass shrimp. Spicy sawgrass shrimp. Yeah, the Italian sausage in there, delicious. And then the shrimp, all of that was just amazing. Everything was amazing. So I am going to get my $70 meal for free. I am going to get a sweet t-shirt, which is right here. It says the eatery, of course, for Trasca and Company Eatery here in Ponta Vedra Beach. Florida, which is to the east of Jacksonville. I'm also going to have my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame as the first to win record holder, which we'll see if Katina is able to beat that time tomorrow. Her video link is down in the description. But big thank you again to Sarah, her family, everybody here with Trapska and Company Eatery in Ponte Vedra Beach. Thank you guys all for being here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was overall win number 957. Thank you guys for watching.